Hey guys, so yeah, my bad. I skipped a week again. Sorry. But um today's going to be a rather short video because I'm planning on doing something kind of awesome ish. Well, kind of coolish cuz basically what I really want to do for the next video that I'm going to do is somehow strap strap my video camera onto my bike and kind of tour you guys around town cuz I've been asked about that for a few times, so I kinda wanna do that. Yeah, but um yeah, so basically the past couple weeks have been pretty much the same. Yeah, so one interesting thing was last week Saturday my um my program classmates and I decided that we'd go on a funditory that's one of the main things that they call it, is fundatory. It's a fundatory field trip to Nara. Now, Nara is known as a pretty big tourist attraction. Um, the In Nara, basically, there's a deer everywhere. You can walk down the street and you will be bombarded by deer. They sell biscuit things to feed the deer. And apparently, the program coordinator here has actually eaten those deer biscuits and they're really, really bitter. But yeah, so um, so we went to Nara. We played with deer, and my fellow program classmate peoples were quite interested in taking selfies with deer. And literally, every time they saw a deer, they basically stopped and did like a photo shoot. They were like iPhone up here with the deer and trying to get the deer to look at the camera, and it was just like it was pretty special. And that's all I can really say is it was special. But they managed to get some good photos, and they looked really cute with the deer, and I saw the most metal deer there was, it was, it had like these awesome little stubby pointy horn thingies, and it was blind too, so it had like the, well partially blind, so it had like the grayed over eye, you know, just like, fear me, I am metal deer, and it was pretty cool. After but we yeah. walked for a while, playing with the deer, basically we went to, um, Todaiji, which is this giant Buddhist temple, and it has like a humongous Buddha in it, along with a few other statues and stuff, and I'll post the photos at the end of the video that I took there. There was only a few photos because my batteries decided to die, but yeah. So, the Buddha statue was pretty cool, and there's like a pillar inside the Todaiji with a little hole in it. And basically, if you are able to squeeze yourself through that little hole, you are reaching a new level of enlightenment or something. So, we had fun with that. I didn't try because I knew I would get stuck just because my bones are way too wide for that thing. It was really tiny. But, most of the people made it through. Only a couple other girls like me who were big boned were not able to fit through, but... The bigger boned guys were able to fit through, but they were not as wide in the hip area, I guess. And so after we went to Todaiji, we went to a Hakubutsukan, which was just basically a museum, and it had a whole bunch of like 600 AD statues and coins and stuff from various temples and stuff like that. And it was actually really cool. Sadly, I couldn't take photos in there just because the exposure to all those flashes and lights and stuff would degrade the um, quality of the metal and stuff like that, but yeah, that was more interesting to me than the actual Todaiji itself, because the Todaiji was kinda underwhelming just because it was three statues plus a feet, like a miniature setup of the actual temple itself. And then the Pillar of Enlightenment. But, yeah, the Hakuhutsukan was pretty good. But, this week. Today is Monday the 14th, and that would be sports day for Japan, where basically you go out and do sports. Get yourself all appreciating being in shape and stuff like that. It's part of the Happy Monday system, which is basically when the Happy Monday system was instituted. Um, 
they basically moved a whole bunch of national holidays to Monday, so that way families and stuff could have just long weekends, which I think is actually a really good idea. They should institute something similar to that in the U.S., but I don't know, that might cause a riot if we move the national holidays around. But yeah, so tomorrow actually starts the um, language partner thing that I signed up for. So basically, I have a couple people coming in, and I have this one girl coming in from Taiwan, one who's actual natural-born Japanese, and we are basically hanging out for like an hour-ish, talk half an hour in English, half an hour in Japanese, just practicing, actually talking and stuff like that. So that seems pretty cool, I think. Hopefully I'll be able to keep the conversation going, because I'm just great at conversing with people, especially in foreign languages. But yeah, um, this Friday I have another one of those culture class things that I told you about, like when I did the um, Ikebana and um, learning how to play the Koto. Well, this week is learning about like how to dress up in traditional kimono. We're actually going to try on yukata and stuff like that, so that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, that's really it. I shall see you guys next week, hopefully sooner, if I can actually figure out how to do my little writing video. So, bye guys.